Rachel, and this is my AM reading for April 3rd, 2020. I'm filming this on the afternoon of Friday. <laughs> Usually I film the night before. There's a couple of reasons I didn't uh, today <laughs> in this time period. Uh, I guess the major one I, why I didn't film yesterday is because uh, I've been scrambling sort of to get all of my March reading stuff over and done with. Like I had to finish books for the booktube prize, and then finish my usual reading so that I could put up my literary newsletter. So uh, in that vein, I have my March literary newsletter down below where I have reviews from the books that I've read, snippets of those reviews anyway. I have bookish news that caught my fancy, and a book meme, and a book pick, stuff like that. So that's all down below. And I'll also link down below my uh, video for the booktube octafinals because I had to finish those books and rank them and write a script for what I thought about them. <laughs> it was so much fun. But I was pretty much uh, doing that till the tail end of uh, March and beyond. <laughs> and I'm only just in a place where I can really start to read new books and talk about new books because I figured I don't want to rehash all of that again and get another video. <laughs> And the second reason why I'm filming this particularly late in the day, I hope to get it uh, posted pretty soon though, is because I just got out of a uh, webinar with DC Unemployment. Uh, I'm one of the droves of people on unemployment right now because of furlough due to COVID-19. And so that's been messing with them on all sorts of, le of levels. First of all, this huge uh, influx of people into the system and then secondly, most of uh, their protocols don't apply. Like, uh, usually when you're unemployed and receiving benefits, you have to, uh, in your weekly statement, uh, show proof of looking for a job and, you know, two uh, contacts you've had in that regard. But of course, uh, nobody's looking for jobs and their own job centers are closed because of uh, social distancing. So. I don't think they have the way or the means to like uh, completely override the entire system so we all still have to answer those questions but we're uh, ignoring when it says like wait a second you know benefits might be delayed because obviously uh, this is special circumstances and there's all sorts of crazy stuff too because like for me personally um, I'm receiving benefits still from my employer and I have to uh, still report any earnings that I earn, including benefits. That was a, something we talked about a bit in, in this webinar. Uh, I even got a debit card uh, for uh, uh, my benefits, my unemployment benefits, because uh, I think they're having uh, difficulty with all of the direct deposit. Mine still says it's pending, I don't know. <laughs> so uh, anyway, it is a huge hodgepodge circus of uh, parallel universes in here of being employed and unemployed at the same time or whatever. So you know what I want to do is I think it is high time after uh, dealing with all of this and reading a bunch of uh, heavy nonfiction for the booktube prize that I want to go escapist route. And so I went ahead and I opened uh, The Queen of Nothing on my uh, audio account on Overdrive for, at my library. Uh, I just uh, right now I think what I really need is fairy drama. You know, Jude Duarte stomping around the mortal world saying, I'm the queen of fairy! <laughs> and angsting about who will be king and how to control things from afar. <laughs> and magic. Lots and lots of magic. This uh, one, The Queen of Nothing, is uh, the conclusion of the trilogy of uh, Holly Black's, uh, her YA trilogy on fairies. And uh, the other two books were so much fun. Uh, just uh, pure escapist fun. Uh, they both did pretty well so far in the Booktube SFF Awards, although this one um, was uh, released the same year as Book 2, and Book 2 is apparently more popular. I'm not sure if this means that I will dislike uh, Book 3 or not, or if it'll just be disappointing that the series ends, but frankly, I'm pretty sure that I'll get what I came for in this. I think it's going to be a lot of angsty fairy fun. <laughs> And after that, I intend to get to this book, uh, In the Language of Miracles by Raja Hasib, which uh, is another sort of fun for me, although maybe I should quirk my eyebrow at that statement a little more, because this is all about family drama, including teen suicide, I'm pretty sure. Uh, and uh, 
I, I fall for this stuff too. I don't know if I'd say it's escapist exactly, but I love delving into juicy drama about what it means uh, to, to be a family. And uh, this one also d deals with uh, immigrant communities as well, and so sort of being othered in American society, and uh, probably going to be multiple perspectives too, and... Uh, I just really enjoy stuff like this. I, I think it makes me think. I, I, I do think it makes me think, but uh, it's also very approachable and very regular for me to uh, read. Uh, <laughs> it's probably not going to be that different from a whole lot of books that I've uh, read before, so not too challenging, perhaps, in new ways. Uh, although, you, you never know. I don't know. I, I, <laughs> I'm overthinking all of this. I just think this will be nice to read. I'm looking forward to it. And that about covers it for me, and whew, I don't know how to calm down from everything that's uh, been going on these past couple of days, uh, maybe just plugging immediately back into my fairy drama. I guess in the short run, I'm mostly concerned about my benefits all panning out and uh, not uh, getting into any trouble with the system because of these highly unusual circumstances about my employment, although usual for all of us now today. <laughs> So hopefully everybody will be uh, kind and understanding about it. They seem to be that way on the webinar. And of course, long term, I'm concerned about this pandemic and how it's affecting all of us globally. Uh, trying to pay attention to some of the news without getting uh, too overwhelmed by it all. And as always, I'll link down to uh, some world health information down below. Hopefully we'll all get through this okay. It doesn't necessarily feel like a weekend coming up because not much is changing in the day to day until uh, you know this uh, curve is flattened and we can all sort of uh, leave the house again. <laughs> but I still love the regularity of these Friday reads and be being able to check in with my reading and trying to keep on top of it, especially now that I can delve into April and hopefully get a fair amount of reading done since I have some time available. So yeah, I'll also be back soon, as I said in my last video, to talk about uh, the quarterfinals of the Book 2 Prize, which I'm judging, and my preliminary pre-reading thoughts about those books, so stay tuned. Thanks so much for watching, everyone, and I'll see you next time.